Hi guys, welcome to Heather's Treasures. I'm going to make a sofa and a chair for the living room today. I want to save the walls until I get some actual wood. I'm afraid that the foam board is going to just keep warping. So I'm just going to get some wood to do the second floor. And that should, stay, that should stable that kitchen wall. So I'm going to do chairs and a chair and a sofa. So I drew out a design. The sideboards, the sides of the sofa and the chair will be wood. So I've got these planks. They are four millimeters. So I roughly drew it out. I did some measuring first on a real chair that I have in the living room. So I did all the calculating and then I just adjusted it to what I thought it would look like. And then I traced it out and made a template. So I'm going to just put it down here and draw this around. And I think what I'll do is I will uh, kind of tack these together with a brad and then I will take it to my bandsaw and cut them all out at once. Now, let's talk color. These are, this is my color scheme. And so here's my rug. And I want to bring in some um, greens because when my daughter and her husband went on their honeymoon to Japan, she, they asked me what I wanted as a souvenir. And I said, I want some fabric from Japan. Because at that time I was really huge in soy. And I was thinking, you know, yards of fabric. <laughs> And this is what they brought me back. This is silk Japan. This is silk from Japan. And I've got this uh, pretty crane, whatever these the herons, cranes. This is really pretty, but the, the print is too big. So that's out. But the green would go. So then I've got this. And being in my box, it got something on it. But I can cut around that. I've got, I've got fabric here. I could do... I could do it in this. I like this dark green. I could do some like an accent pillow or something in that color. But this goes with my color scheme. So that's good. So we're going to use this fabric to do the sofa and chair. So let me get these cut out and I will be right back. I need a bumper sticker that says, honk if you love power tools. <laughs> this was so much fun. So you saw me draw it out. I went and I nailed the two spots to secure the wood together. And then I clamped it and ground off the end so that it wouldn't get in the way. Cut them out. So we'll put them together to see how we did. See how I did. <laughs> Just needs a little sanding. And I can use the, this bit and this bit for um, framework if I need to. Okay, the outside edges are done. So now this will be sitting like this. And this will be out here like this. So let's begin. Okay, the chair has got to be six centimeters from outside to outside and the sofa is 12 centimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this here on the outside edge, put a mark, and then this one. So now we'll measure those between those two lines. We've got 49 millimeters. So I need 49 millimeters.
Let's put them in there to see how it looks. <laughs> okay, there's the living room. Here's my coffee table I started working on. I think the chair is going to go right here by the window. And the sofa will sit right here. Oh. I could do the sofa here and then the chair would be fine right there because I'm gonna have a, a floor-to-ceiling light and I'm gonna make a wire basket so that we can put all of grandma's yarn in the basket because she was a crocheter what do you think guys do you like the profile this is all gonna be covered right through here and this cushion is going to be covered, and this is going to be stained. Which reminds me, I probably should stain it before I put the fabric on. I have a tiny can of golden oak minwet. This is not any furniture that I grew up with. I grew up in the 60s and 70s, where the furniture was flower fabric and lots of crystal chandeliers. <laughs> so I am gonna try to mimic the floor lamp that was in our living room. It was a beautiful, it really was beautiful. My mother, sometimes she had some odd taste, but that lamp was really pretty. When the lights came on, when he, when he turned it on, the crystals that hung in created little rainbows. But everything was overstuffed. The carpet was a variegated green shag, uh, like a dark green with some grass green thrown in because it was variegated. And at one point, the, the, ranch, the ranch house had rooms in the front and rooms in the back. And from the living room and the dining room, the hallway went down to the bathroom and the bedrooms. And at one time, it was wood floor, polished wood floor. And my Aunt Mildred, uh, would have been my great aunt, she weaved rugs. <laughs> so we had lots of rugs on that wooden floor. And I remember as a kid, we would run as fast as we could from the living room <laughs> to the hallway. And when we'd hit that rug, the first rug, we would stop running and skid as far down to the hallway as we could. And then mom would yell at us <laughs> for, for messing up her rugs. Fun times. So if you grew up in the 60s and 70s, oh, our walls were celery green. <laughs> yeah. I, no wonder green is my favorite color. We grew up with it. We will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, I thought I hit record, but I must have shut off the phone. Because the, or I shut off the camera by mistake. Sorry, guys. So what I've done is measured my interior part here. This is four and a quarter, and this is two inches. So I've cut two panels of batting for the seat of the sofa. One is to fit just to the in just to the seat and I'm just giving it a little tug to make it fit so it'll be just like that and then this piece is going to be flush against the back side as well like that and then it's going to fold over so that it's got a, a soft edge on the front so what I was about to do was just add a little bit of glue
Okay, now the bottom is all nice and covered. It's all cleaned up. The back is nice. Very nice and smooth. Very cute. Now if you wanted to, you could add little tacks, little wood tacks. That would be cute. Okay, so there's that. I'll be back when I get the chair done. It'll be the same exact process. Three. What? Go! Isn't that cute? That is so cute! I like it. I hope you guys do too. Are they perfect? No! They are made with love. And fabric from Japan from Mommy. So that's another story she can tell her baby, little Naomi. Thank you guys for staying and to the end. I really appreciate everyone's comments and likes and shares and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see more stuff like this, because this is going to be a while before I get this one done. And then I've got another one to do right after that. So my Fridays will be full for quite a while. So we'll see you next time. Love you. Bye bye.